How important is this game for Skip's Cowboys? A one. A one. Yeah, if they win, what happens? I told you two weeks ago, I said, if you don't win this game against Jacksonville, nothing else matters. It doesn't matter if you beat Philly. Mm. Because what you've done, you've sur uh, surrendered. Now, all of a sudden, instead of two games back, with a chance to be one game back, and then with two games to play, you're going to be three games back. Mm. Now you beat them, you're still two games back. Now you got to hope you win out and hope they lose out, which they're not going to do. So, and the five spot is the best you can, it's, it's either five or one. You can't be two, you can't be three, you can't be four. You're either in the five spot or you're in the one spot. Uh, and I think there's a 99.99% chance you're in the five spot. There's a point zero 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 one percent you're in the one spot. That's what happens when you didn't take care of your business on the road in Duval County, which happens to be Jacksonville. Mm. So for me, Skip, I'm hoping, they can, I'm hoping the Titans can field a team. Look at the guys that are out. Cole, linebacker, Cunningham, linebacker, Bud Dupree, Pectoria, he's out. Hooker knee, uh, the tackle is out, Jeffrey Simmons is out, Ryan Tannehill is out, Josh Thomas in a concussion. Danico Autry is doubtful, Fulton, doubtful, Derrick Henry, hip, doubtful. Mm. Can you even feel the team and then your quarterback, Malik Willis, Skip? The guys failed to throw for 100 yards in all three of his starts. And you, what am I supposed to do with this? Mm. I, I feel bad for, uh, for uh, the, the coach. Because I, I, I like him. I think he's, he's a tough, fiery guy. I think guys love playing for him. But at some point in time, I mean, you got to give me something to go fight with, Skip. Mm. I can't go to war with rocks, and everybody else got grenades and rocket launchers. Mm. So here come the Cowboys. Very good team. And you got me going out there on a short week because we lost Sunday, and we turn it around and play it on, su on, on Thursday with a third of our, half of our roster. Mm. So it, it doesn't do anything for me, Skip. Cowboys are 12 and a half point favorite. Mm -hmm. They should be ashamed if this game is if this game is under 17. Mm -hmm. They should be embarrassed if it's under 17. But it doesn't mean anything, Skip. It does, it, there's no importance. Now, look, if you want to say, what well, you, you know, Shannon, you know you got three games left. I mean, so this will be four games. You want to go on a winning streak, a nice winning streak uh, over a month going into the playoffs to really feel good? Okay, I'll give you that. But for me, ain't no point in this game right here. This is... This is this is this is the Titans mm. with uh, uh uh with a third of their roster, half of their roster starters, that's gone. Mm. Okay, first order of business in my lengthy career <laughs> of covering these games and these finishes in this league, I've never heard of anything like this. No. How the schedule fell so quirkily that all of a sudden, this game doesn't matter to a team that will play at Jacksonville. It'll be in. 10 days, right. actually. So right. they, they get 10 days to get right for at Jacksonville. Right. And no matter what happens tonight, they could lose 100 to nothing tonight. If they go win at Jacksonville, they win the division. division. I've never heard of anything I, like I that. Either. Okay. This is our fate. This is our circumstance. You can say it's the greatest thing that oh, ever you're happened. Oh, you clapping. You're yeah. extremely okay. happy. All right. Now back to Jen's question. Scale of 1 to 10, how important is this game for Dallas? It's a 10 for me. The reason being... My team has a long history of playing down to the level of competition. My team has a longer history of playing down to the level of the circumstance, and this is as dangerous a Dallas Cowboy circumstance as you can get. Because what do you always say? They, what do you do? Cowboy things? Yeah, they'll they, be they cow cowboying. cowboying. Okay. You can't come out and cowboy around tonight. <laughs> you, you have to not only take care of business, but you have to sustain the momentum that you rebuilt and relaunched against Philadelphia on Christmas Eve. You, you have to not only maintain it, but you have to fuel it forward. I keep bringing up God's coach, Tom Landry. Right. He preached. He told me again and again, you have to streak into the playoffs. If you're going to go win the big prize, yeah. you have to streak. You know this from the many times, although you had some glitches before, yeah. but in the, for the most part, you need to catch fire right. late and sustain fire through the playoff run. And my team re-caught some fire against Philadelphia, albeit against their backup quarterback, and I look forward to seeing them again in the playoffs with Jalen Hurts. But speaking of Jalen Hurts, this ain't over yet. I don't care what you say. It's the National Football League, and I watched parts of the Saints up at Cleveland in the bitter cold they won the football game against Deshaun Watson, and th they looked pretty good in doing so in the bitter cold. My point is, are they capable of going into the cold weather? It won't be as cold at Philadelphia. Are they capable of going in there and upsetting the Eagles? I don't know if Jalen's going to play or not. You said he, it was a pretty serious shoulder injury that he suffered. 
Well, so what is he? Is are they going to risk it or not risk it? Because if they don't, if let's just do the worst case scenario. If they lose, then they got to deal with the Giants. It's an arch rival, and the Giants have been playing pretty well. Here, in the, I see glimpses. They, Daniel Jones has gotten a little better through the year. He's dangerous. They're dangerous because they're the Giants and these are the Eagles. So don't tell me it's completely over here. And you, it, for the least thing the Dallas Cowboys can do tonight is to apply a little bit of pressure by just going and taking care of business. I'm talking about flexing tonight. I'm talking about taking the game over in the first quarter oh. against a, a quarterback who I like coming out. I, I do like him, and I still think he's got a future, Malik. But, hey, he has been flat out overmatched. Yeah, you can name all those starters. They got yeah, backups yeah. to the quality. <laughs> so, hey, you know how my team plays. Yeah, we no, should have won the game at Jacksonville. We're up 27 that, to 10. We're up 28 to 14 at, at Green Bay. Right, 28 to 14. Right. But, but, okay? but don't, but skip. You, you saw what happened. The Indianapolis Colts are going for two late in the third quarter to tie the football game yeah. at Jerry World. You saw what happened. The Lions, Jamal Williams is going in for the but score take the to take the lead yeah. early in the fourth quarter. These things happen to my team. Right. And my team would go, boom, flex. Right. 33 to nothing against the Colts. We, would we beat uh, Detroit? in the second half, 21 to nothing, think, we beat Detroit. Yes. Okay, so I keep telling you, my team's got firepower. My team's got star power because it does. When it flexes, the, the NFL world shudders because it can do potent things. Yeah, but, but sometimes but you, they you, don't, the, the, the fireworks you, don't go okay, off. But you cannot look past this one. It is Thursday night football, and you can scoff all you want, but... I, I've watched this team too much. Yeah, no, let's, let's, let's not. Let's if not you do. mess around, screw around, all of a sudden you, you get to the fourth quarter and it's a close game, that's what's got potential if, tonight. If you told me all of these guys were available, I, and look, at this time at this time of the season, they're, everybody's banged up. But if you told me all their guys were available and the Titans were playing like they did in the middle of the season when they won like six games, I would say, Skip, you got your hands full. Mm. But you see what has happened. Jacksonville has been able to get back in it after being four or five games back. They've been able to get back in it. And now you're dealing with your, uh, your linebackers and O-line and D-line and your quarterback and your running back. Okay. Your best players are hurt. Okay. You mean to tell me you, you're concerned? As great a coach, as, as a good a coach as Mike Vrabel is, at some point in time, Skip, you got to put quality players on the field to give your team a chance to win. Yeah. I don't know how many quality players, and when I say quality, your starters. Yeah. Because there's a reason why they're starters, and your backups are your backups. Okay. Because if your backups were as good as your starters, they would be starting, and the starters would be the backups. Mike Vrabel's a really good He is coach. a very good coach. He's a great underdog coach. He, he's a great igniter and motivator in ways my head coach is not. My head coach just needs to stay mostly out of the way. We have sort of won in spite of him and in spite of the owner-operator sitting up in his luxury box. The point is, Vrabel will have whoever's left, he'll have them as ready to play as they can be. And they teach physical football. And it will be cold. It's not going to be as cold as it was last week in Nashville. No, no, no. But if the Cowboys come out and say, you know, it's a little too cold for us. We, we don't really enjoy this. They're coming out with their new all oh, white right. helmets. You like those, don't you? I think they're pretty cool. I saw Zeke had posted yeah. one a little while yeah. ago. I, I'm not a big uniform guy, but I, I like them. You do like the uniform. Okay. You like the original uniform, the one that had the star on the I, I do like sleep. that. Yeah. I like the design oh, of it. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Okay. But I went through years and years where the blue jerseys, were Jinx jerseys, okay? <laughs> so are the white helmets going to become Jinx helmets? I'm just telling you, I've been doing this for too long with this team. You better not stoop to the level of what you're up against and look up in the fourth quarter and say, they're still in the game? Because they're going to be throwing rocks. They're not going to be shooting rockets at you. Right. They're going to be throwing rocks at your new white helmets. And if they hit you enough and, and some rocks start going through the face mask and hitting you in the yeah. face, yeah. it's going to start to hurt. And you're going to get in some trouble and you're going to lose your momentum because the beautiful thing would be to go do a 44 to nothing on Malik tonight. Just 44 to nothing sack him eight times, get back on the horse and ride it where the sack attack returns because it's been non-existent, right? Right. right. We have one sack in, what, four games now, yes. right? Yes. One sack in yes. four games after we led the NFL in sacks. Mm -hmm. Well, this is screaming for you to regain your sack momentum. 
I'd like to see Micah have two, maybe, you know, right. and, and maybe Dorrance Armstrong would get one, and maybe D Law would get one, right. and maybe Dante Fowler would get one. And all of a sudden, you'd feel real good about yourselves. And guess what you could do now? You got one more at Washington, and you could say, we rest, right? Skip, but at the end of the day, Skip, you know Bob Baffert. He's a friend of mine. Yeah. You give Bob Baffert a mule, and you give me a thoroughbred, I'm going to beat him. And I don't care how good he is. And so I don't care how good a coach you have. You can't keep losing all these good players and say, you know what, I'm going to go out there against a team that's fully, for the most part, fully healthy, a very talented team in the Cowboys that's, what are they, 11 and 1, 12 and 4? Mm. No, 11 and 4. 11 well, and four. my only question about Baffert is what would he give the mule? It doesn't would matter. He... <laughs> you, if it's a mule, okay, I give you Sean McGay, he, you going to D-Wayne, Lucas, whoever you want. Okay. All right, I got you. But I'm just saying this is a trap game for the Dallas Cowboys because of their history. And I keep telling you, well, history shouldn't matter. Wait, that's what you, you just I know. I'm just saying I've seen it too many times. Now, I'm not saying this team will fall into that trap, but it has trap written all over it because of the coach on the other sideline. I, I don't love it because you don't think they'll come out and try to win the game with what of they course, have? Of course. Of course they will. Let me will. ask you a question. You think you could trap a bear, a bear with a mouse trap? No. No. Exactly. So that's a, the, 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 the Tennessee Titans are a mousetrap, mm -hmm. and the Cowboys are bears, okay. and that's what you're using. Okay. I, I need explosion tonight because <laughs> you know and I know if they muck around tonight no. it, it, and, and it becomes one of those sort of moral losses. It'd be 17 nothing in the first quarter. Okay, will it? For 17 okay, I hope first you're right. quarter. I'm not going to bet on it because I'm not going to bet against 17, my team. 17 okay, I'll take first that. Quarter. 17 nothing, what will be at halftime? Probably 20, I would say probably 27 3. 27 to 3 at halftime. What's the final score? 40s? God, yeah. Uh, 41, 41 10. Dak, Dak, Dak probably played to the third quarter. Ooh. Okay. 41 to 10 says the Hall of Famer Shannon yep. Sharp. Okay. I will. I, I will run with that because that's what I need. Yeah. I said 44 to nothing, but I'll take 41 to 10. I need my team to feel real good about itself as it takes basically a week off at Washington to get ready for a playoff game, right. maybe at Brady. I don't know. I don't even know if Brady can survive, but it could right. be at Brady. I'm curious, gentlemen, to see how much Micah Parsons and Tony Pollard play. They're both listed as questionable coming into today. Pollard hasn't even practiced all week. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Subscribe here to get the very latest from Skip and Shannon. Plus, go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.